Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. Pallas and Scorpio. So Pallas reminds me of Scorpio in the sense that Basically, um, like say Pallas and Mars are like brothers and sisters. And I feel like Pallas and Mars are brothers and sisters the same way that Aries and Scorpio is brother and sister. And Mars, you know, would represent Aries in the sense that being so direct and masculine in the approach of battle, where Pallas is more like Scorpio that is more introverted when it comes to battle, more strategic, uses wisdom, you know, and wisdom comes from experiences. So having Pallas in, in Scorpio tells me that you are someone that is very strategic when it comes to your approach. And basically, you probably always get your way whenever you are, whenever you are negotiating. And like I mentioned in the main video, negotiation doesn't necessarily have to do with on a big business level. It could be as simple as basically just interacting with siblings and whatnot. From a very early age, you probably real became very emotionally aware of other people and realized how people take and what it is that they need and how they operate and able to see the shadow in people. And with you having that ability and being able to see that, basically that's what strengthened your negotiation skills in the sense that, you know, Pluto brings a lot of wisdom and Pluto rules over Scorpio. Originally, Mars was the ruler and then Pluto, you know, ruled after Mars. And Pluto energy, wherever Pluto is, I believe a lot of wisdom is going to be gained in that because Pluto creates a constant death and rebirth and wisdom comes from experience. So, you know, if Pluto and Scorpio, you're in whatever house it is in this area of your life, there's constantly a leveling up that's happening. And if you're not leveling up in this area of your life, then you're probably experiencing trauma. It's almost like you're living in hell. So it's either you're living in hell in this aspect or area of your life, or you're constantly leveling up. So with that being said, when it comes to your negotiation style, having Scorpio there and then also having Mars there, the god of war, like, <laughs> I don't want to mess with you in the sense that it could be, we could be negotiating because, you know, you want to buy this book or whatever. It's like, you're going to know exactly how to come at me because before even coming at me, you're going to size me up and know exactly what needs to be said, what approach you need to take in order to get whatever it is that you need to get, whatever it is that you, I have that you want. It's like, you're going to know exactly what is needed, what is required, you know, because with Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy is all about control and power because Scorpio wants to have control over everything and anything that has to do with themselves. And if you understood Scorpio, if you understood or pay attention to the scorpion, you will see and know why. Cancer is also the same way like Scorpio needing to have control and power. And both Cancer and Scorpio has that exoskeleton, you know, so it's like they have an outer armor and it's like they look like a soldier, which shows the need to come off so cold and distant. It's all protecting that soft tender, vulnerable interior that exists within. You know, it doesn't take much to like destroy the what the body that exists within that skeleton. So because Scorpio energy knows how sensitive it is, that is why it is important for it to protect 
itself the way it does. So when it comes to your negotiation style, you take that very seriously. It's almost like life and death. And having Palace in the eighth house says that you are someone who is very good when it comes to negotiating money. Like you're good at basically getting the upper hand in financial situations because the eighth house has to do with our banking system. It has to do with, you know, money that we gain from other people. We did not work for it. It just comes through us through our association, our affiliations with other people. You know, it'll come from your spouse, you marrying into a family or whatnot. So with Palace being here, you have a great ability to sit back and size something up and, you know, make it work out for your greater good because you're able to understand money on such a deeper level. And, you know, this doesn't come over time because like I've mentioned, with Pluto here and Scorpio energy being so sensitive and most people aren't aware of the Scorpio sensitivities because you are very lucky if a Scorpio allows you to get close enough to them to see that side of them. So because most people aren't aware of that aspect, they just see Scorpio as cold and distance when in all reality, they're more than that. So having Pluto and Mars being your father, you know, one father that's like war, war, war at all costs, that's Mars. And Pluto having to do with death, like, you know, like death and everything is dark and hidden or whatnot. Like you, like it'll cause a person to basically learn lessons a lot easier. You know what I mean? I believe pain and challenging situations help me to learn lessons a lot easier. So because of that, that's what makes a person with strong Scorpio become good or better with money because every time they fail, they feel it so deeply. So that's why, yes, you're able to negotiate when it comes to money and finances and banking and things like that because from your own personal triumphs you know you are able to be victorious because you are able to learn from your lessons and with that wisdom you're able to learn from other people as well scorpio rules over the scorpio rules over the rectum and the genitals so that means whenever your immune system is out of whack, you might experience challenges when it comes to those parts of your body. And the biggest part of our immune system is in our gut, our digestion. So when your digestion is out of balance, it is a reflection that just basically that part of your body will be out of balance also. And a lot of the times with our digestion, it's out of balance because we're consuming what we shouldn't be consuming. And most of the times we're consuming out of comfort because we don't want to face something. And in the process of doing that, it's throwing our energy out of whack. And if we don't want to face something, then that means also in our everyday life when it comes to us negotiating. And like I've mentioned before, negotiating doesn't necessarily mean on some grand scale, you know, children negotiate. So if, you know, we're out of balance when it comes to our digestion, it shows how we're out of balance in our personal life. Like for me personally, you know, there have been times when I thought my life was going perfectly fine and it took something happening within my body for me to realize that, okay, this that's happening in my body is a reflection of what's happening in my life on a whole and help me to take a step back and see, oh, wow, okay, this chakra point, because what I just mentioned is the first chakra. And the first chakra is what makes us feel safe. So if you are not feeling safe in your life, and then it's funny because that ties back to scorpionic energy and the need to be in control and have power, you know, if you are not feeling safe in your life, you know, with palace in Scorpio, you might experience imbalances or challenges with the rectum and the genitals and challenges there is showing that, you know, not feeling safe. And for me personally, whenever I don't feel safe, it goes back to my spiritual, me working on my spiritual beliefs, you know, me strengthening that part of myself. That's what helps me to feel safe in life, feel safe in my situations and whatnot. 
you know, and I find that, you know, if I'm like, I go back to the digestion, if I'm eating to for comfort, because I'm trying to avoid something in my life, you know, obviously in that avoidance is throwing my whole body out of balance and whatever it is that I'm trying to avoid in my life is probably trying to take me to the next level and trying to teach me something, you know, it's trying to evolve me to level me up. So, you know, a lot of the times, like I mentioned earlier, it's the challenges in my body that's help that helps me to see that other things in my outside in in my everyday life needs to be rectified. Have you subscribed to this channel? If you haven't subscribed to this channel, why haven't you subscribed to this channel? Please subscribe to this channel and leave me a orange heart in the comment box below to let me know that you are still here. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.